In the last video, I briefly mentioned that you should shoot for using all quads whenever possible, and so that means no triangles and no n-gons. Now, the reason for this might not be immediately obvious, so I want to expand on that just a little bit here. The main reason we want to shoot for using all quads is just cleanliness. A clean model with clean topology is easy to work with, it's easy to modify, and more importantly, it's also easier for other people on your team to modify. Uh, because some models might have some weird topology and you know the original author might be able to edit it however he sees fit but somebody else coming in later might not know what to do with it so it just keeps things simple and clean for everybody and when you're modeling you're going to be making hundreds or thousands of tweaks to your model so making sure that those tweaks are as easy as possible to accomplish is going to make your life a lot easier so for example if i wanted to modify this neck here if I want to do pull this out a little bit more, I can just select these vertices here along that edge. You know, pull that out, make that feature a little bit more defined, and I'm good to go. So that's pretty easy. But if I had my topology not running along that feature, so for example, if I had it running uh, just, you know, straight up and down in grids like this, then I'd have to select this feature going diagonally here, not along the quads, and it would be difficult to select, it would be uh, difficult to edit, and you wouldn't get a very good result. So I can show you that over here on the shoulder. So pretend we had a feature running diagonally this way. You know, selecting these vertices manually and then, you know, trying to pull them up, it's just, it's not going to end very well. And so using quads that run along your features is going to save you quite a bit of time. But we also want to stay away from using triangles and n-gons. So let me show you what happens if I take this face and I'll hit Control T and turn it into a triangle. You know, immediately you might not see that much of a difference here other than the fact that, all right, you maybe can't select this as a face loop, so it might be a little bit annoying, but what's actually going on? If I go out of edit mode here and look at this when it's subdivided, you'll see that we've actually changed the direction of some of these subdivided face loops. So instead of running straight you know, down along this feature as it had before, what we're doing is we're changing the direction and now we have a loop, you know, running along this way and a loop running along that way. And it's running along a feature that's non-existent. We don't have a little tumor inside the neck. Uh, and so, you know, there's no reason for that to be there. It's just an unintentional feature. And of course we want to be working intentionally. Now, if I turn on optimal display over here in the subdivision service, then you can see with just the original loops here, that what we've done is we've created some poles here and that's going to bend the topology. So before, let me just select these and hit F to fill, we can see that we have a pretty clean line running in this direction, a clean line running in that direction, and all is well and good. But as soon as these guys are turned into a triangle, now we don't have those clean lines anymore. They're now bent. There's, you know, bulging out that way coming in this way, coming to a little point, and we're no longer getting that clean flow. And so that's what I mean when I say that poles and triangles can create unnecessary pinching or bulging or just weird artifacts uh, when you don't want them. And the same thing is true with n-gons because as I'll show you here, if I just select some of these guys and turn it into an n-gon, then you can see that it's just created a whole bunch of triangles. I'll turn off optimal display. It's just created a whole bunch of triangles and a really nasty pull, and it's pulled everything right towards the center of the n-gon. So that's definitely not what we want. Now, you might notice that this is really only applying to subdivision surface modeling. You know, if I didn't have this subdivision surface modifier, well, you know, these triangles might be annoying, and maybe this isn't a great place for an n-gon because it really should be bending in the middle. Overall, it's not the end of the world. And so this is why in game models, you'll often see lots of triangles, because you can often create the same shapes out of less triangles than you can with quads. But if you were to subdivide it, it would look really nasty. But when you're exporting to a game engine, you're never going to be using subdivision surfaces, and so in that context, it doesn't matter. But the principles that I'm talking about in terms of using the topology to define the features of your object are still definitely going to apply. And even when you are game modeling, you're likely going to want to start out using all quads and then you know reduce your topology to triangles later before exporting. But just for the sake of ease of use and ease of editing, 
you're likely going to want to model things initially with all quads. Now, there are going to be some times where triangles are acceptable. You might see some modelers use triangles like areas right here, where this is a quad, but if we were to make this into a triangle, it wouldn't be the end of the world because the pinching that would be there is part of the surface features that we're actually going for in the first place. So there might be some times when using triangles is appropriate, but unless you have a specific reason to use one, I would say try to stay away from them as much as possible. So if you really are advanced and you know what you're doing and you have a particular reason for using triangles, go for it. Uh, because, you know, of course, none of these rules are hard and fast. All rules are kind of meant to be broken in the modeling world. But if you're unsure, definitely stick with all quads whenever possible. Even if it makes it a little bit more challenging initially, it's going to save you in the long run. 